Hello, hello, hello everyone. And welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Psychology Eats is here to help you. Even though some people don't understand what's eating you. Oh. Hey y'all. I'm in the core with a Wawa pretzel and some soda. God, I shouldn't be drinking this soda. This is mellow yellow. Well, into who? I just had my fingerprints done. So I was giving a little bit of uh, information to people who are interested in coming into the field of mental health psychology and ooh, um, social work, any of the disciplines in this human services field is that you will need to get your fingerprints done. Depending on where you work or how, you know, it could be every five years, every couple of years, whenever, whenever an employer requests it, we need to get them done. So, I just had mine redone because I work for school. Now, this was not always the case. So, right now, we need three different clearances in order to work in this field. Now, it could be the same way with nursing and medical and stuff, and I'm just talking about psychology, social work, human services. We need FBI clearances. We need child abuse clearances. And we need criminal background checks in order to work in this field. So... If any of your clearances come back with anything on them, employers are not going to take the risk to hire you. They're just not. So you got to keep your clearances clean. You have to if you want to work. So I tell people all the time, well, when the subject comes up, I don't care. Y'all like my hair? I redid it. <laughs> Anywho, I don't care how many degrees you have. You can have a PhD. You can have a master's degree. You can have an associate's degree. You can have a bachelor's degree. I don't even care if you have a license. You can have a, a LPC, a LSC, a LCSW. You can have any of those licensing you can have any degree, but if you don't have clean clearances, you're not working. You're not working, period. Nobody's going to risk hiring you if you have a... Now, for the criminal background, let's say you have a misdemeanor. You don't have to report a misdemeanor. Traffic ticket, or anything like that. You ain't gonna report that. That's not gonna pop up. That's not gonna pop up. But felonies, they're coming up. They're coming up. So, I tell people students <clears throat> keep your record clean because even after you get your degree even after you get your degree if you got a dirty record you're a done deal you're not gonna work now the child abuse clearance Mm -mm. If you ever hurt a child, 
sexual abuse, neglect, physical abuse. And they pull your record. That's going to come up on your record. You're a done deal. You'll never work with children. You'll never work with the elderly. Any vulnerable population. You're not going to work with them. Now, 25 years ago, we didn't do all that. We did not have all these clearances that we had to get. We had to go through all these clearances and stuff. When I first entered into this field. And because of that. There was. A, not a lot of abuse. But there was enough abuse to warrant this. Clearance. To warrant that we need clearances. That we need to. Weed out. This is our way of weeding out the bad apples. This is our way of weeding out potential thieves. The criminal background check. If you come back and you've been stealing shit for the last 10 years, I'm not hiring you to work with my consumers where I may need you to manage their money. And you're a thief? Mm -mm. No. No. I've had I've had clients where they've had money stolen from people who were supposed to help them. And they've had hundreds and thousands of dollars stolen from them. No. And probably if I if we had those background checks back then things like that would have been prevented. It would have been for real. But the child abuse clearance are important because, too, child molesters and child predators love children. They do. Love them in an unhealthy, dangerous, evil way. button however they prey upon children so if I'm a child molester I want to be with children alright so they want to get jobs in a field where they are surrounded by their desire wow this person you can get the whole pretzel, you can get like a half a pretzel. This is my first time eating today, so I'm hungry. So anywho, <coughs> I had to get my um I was, it was an easy task to get my fingerprints done because I decided to make a turmeric mask last night. And if you know anything about turmeric, these fingers are yellow. My nails are yellow. <clears throat> my fingers are yellow. He had to run these fingers across that thing a couple of times. Mm. Um, so anyway. The FBI. Has been sending men. Potential job opportunities mm. you may be able to fill this position at first I thought it was a joke but then it started listing all of the credentials that you need and I'm like I got that I got that 
Oh, snap. I might be an FBI agent. Now, see, <coughs> I swear, how did the FBI know that the last couple of weeks I've been watching a lot of serial killer biographies? Dun, dun, dun. How do you know that? How do you know that? How do they know that? I've been studying up and interested in borderline personalities and personality disorders. Although I've said multiple times that I don't treat those disorders. And I don't. But I've been interested in it and doing some more research about it. About the disorders and stuff. And then all of a sudden, the FBI talking about, you want to come work for us. You want to come work for us. No, I don't. You don't think y'all going to put me in the room with a serial killer? Oh, no, ma'am. Mm-mm. No, you're not. Mm-mm. No. <clears throat> mm -mm. So anyway, plus in order to be an FBI agent, even to do like forensic psychology, which is what we do, you have to go through basic training. I know you lying. I got salt all over this car. You gotta go through basic training. Ooh, basic training to me means I'm gonna be running, climbing walls, and you know I ain't doing all that. I don't even know how to skip. I swear I don't even know how to skip. Can I skip? Can I skip? So any, mm -mm, that ain't gonna work for me. But that's all, everybody. That's all for the day. I'm just eating a pretzel, wearing these two glasses, and. I don't know what's wrong with me. Now I gotta go. Where are my keys? Because I managed to avoid a couple people I saw that I did not even want to talk to. And now here comes another one. I gotta go. Bye y'all.